on that. We welcome in Millville girls head coach Jason Kessler. Coach, good morning to you. Good morning, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing well, and you know, you talk about girls' hoops in the Cape Atlantic League, and of course everyone wants to talk about mainland, and deservedly so. The Mustangs are undefeated, and Kylie Watson is one of the best players in the country, but you know, Millville, at least for me, I think you guys have been flying a little under the radar, if that's even possible, at 15-4. and four. How much fun has this season been? Obviously, you guys have a lot of goals that you're still working toward, but how proud are you of this group to this point? Uh, it's a special group that uh, a lot of four-year varsity players for us. Uh, that you know, watching them develop over the last four years uh, and grow as people and as players has been really enjoyable. Obviously, a 55-40 win over GCIT uh, last night. So you guys keep it rolling there. But you know, it's a situation too where you have that that player, that piece in the middle, and it's more than just one player. But Alexis Harrison has really become a force for you guys in her time there. I mean. In terms of development, how you know leaps and bounds? How much better has she gotten during her time under you there at Millville? Uh, it's night and day from uh, freshman year to senior year to watch her growth uh, at, uh, on the court. Uh, she puts in a lot of time in the off season, uh, plays AAU. Uh, she's on, on our track team, uh, really maturing as a player and as a, as a person. She uh, uh, really has made a conscientious effort, especially in this off season. Uh, to work on some of the areas uh, that she was struggling in in the past uh, and really has done a nice job for us. And a player like that, too, is that something you can point to to maybe some of the younger kids and say, hey, you know, she was, quite frankly, a little bit raw when she came in, but she developed her game, she worked hard, you know, now a 1,000-point scorer, going to get a chance to play basketball in college as well. Is that something you can point to and say, hey, look, this is the way to do it. If you want to work hard, it does pay off. Yeah, our our uh, not just Alexis, but our entire group of uh, of seniors we have uh, really uh, have been dedicated throughout the, their, their time in the program and you know, not missing summer workouts, uh, playing in, in summer leagues, playing AAU, uh, just a, a full commitment uh, to being successful. Uh, it, it's just developed a culture uh, of success, and hopefully, uh, our uh, JV and, and freshman players. Uh, are really getting uh, to absorb what it takes uh, to be successful, and that will continue to uh, help the program grow in the future. Checking in with Jason Kessler right now on the South Jersey Sports Report, head coach of the Millville girls basketball team, Thunderbolts 15-4. Uh, and four. And, Coach, obviously everyone wants to talk about the Cape Atlantic League playoffs, and the seeding for that will come out uh, sometime in the middle of next week, I believe Wednesday night. But, you know, again, 15-4, and four, you're 8-1 and one in the conference. You know, you're going to get one of those automatic spots out of the American. And you guys haven't been strangers to the tournament, but you've oftentimes had to go on the road for a first-round game, things of that nature. And, you know, behind Mainland, you guys really have a shot at maybe that number two, number three seed and, and obviously a home game and then a chance to really make a deep run. You know, how excited are you guys for not only a potential home game in the Cal tournament, but a chance to really... Again, I know you guys don't want to talk too much about too much down the line, but a chance to to really be one of those teams vying for a spot at Stockton on Championship Saturday. Uh, when we sat down as a, as a team before the season, one of our goal, uh, goals was you know to, to have a, a home Cal game, a home uh, state playoff game, uh, and we've really performed very well uh, at home. We have great fan support, great parental support. Always get a good crowd uh, out in Millville. Uh, and they, it really is an advantage for us. It's like having a sixth player on, on the court. Uh, so having the opportunity to, to play one of those games at home is huge for us. How has that bar been raised in terms of expectations, right? Because you do have a senior-laden group, and, you know, expectations are a funny thing. You know, when Millville uh, wins some games maybe in years past, it's, it's like, oh, that's a nice surprise. But this year you guys were sort of expected to be here, and you've delivered. So as a team, do you sort of have to raise your level to meet those expectations? Yeah, I, I, I think that the, the leadership that we have, we have three uh, senior captains, uh, Diamond Rivera, uh, Sandy Cruz, and Alexis Harrison, uh, really set the tone. And, you know, just the seniors uh, through their, uh, the other seniors through their everyday uh, approach to practice and game preparation, uh, the, the amount of time I spent on, uh, spent on uh, reviewing tape, I know my my shooting one of, one of my shooting guards, India Parker. I can look every week. She's on huddle for at least an, an hour a week, uh, reviewing o- over the, the tape on her own outside of what we already do uh, as a team. So there's a, a lot of attention to detail. 
Do you get the sense in, in the school and the community in Millville that you know people are fired up about it too? Because it's not just the girls' basketball team, the boys' basketball team having another solid season as well and certainly hoping to get an at-large bid to the Cape Atlantic League tournament and they'll get a home game in the state playoffs as well. You know, When both teams are sort of both performing well, do you guys sort of get an extra buzz not only around the school but in the community? Yeah, uh, in the last 10 years that I've been coaching, it's kind of ironic that Every time we have a successful a girls' team, there's also a successful guys' team at the same time. Uh, and it kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, there's probably a, a little bit of competition between the boys and the girls about, uh, you know, the one doesn't want to be outshined by, by the other, which is a good thing. Uh, but they're also very supportive of one another, both programs. Um, and the, the turnout uh, is great. I know that for our state playoff game, uh, it's going to be a boy-girl doubleheader where our, we're going to be facing Clearview first, and the boys are going to be uh, playing Lenape afterwards. Uh, and I know the kids and uh, the people in the school will be excited about the environment that will be created as a result of that. Yeah, I don't want to get too far ahead, but I do have the bracket up in front of me, and you guys slot in as the sixth seed in South Jersey Group 4. And, of course, when you're talking Group 4, you're talking about a loaded bracket. But, you know, you're half of it. You have Clearview there out of the Tri-County Conference. You know, if you win that one, you get either Atlantic City or Toms River North. You know, a lot of good teams in that bracket there. Uh, but for your expectations, and, again, I know we have some regular season and Cal tournament to go here, but – you know, is is your message to the team, hey, we expect to be in that next round, we expect to maybe be in that semifinal in South Jersey Group 4? We're just going to take it game by game, and uh, we know what we need to do in order to get uh, to our, uh, accomplish our goals. Uh, we're, we're excited about the opportunity and the journey ahead of us, but we're going to take it one game at a time. We really haven't looked uh, past anybody uh, yet and just get focused on the next opponent. Checking in with Jason Kessler here, head coach of the Millville girls basketball team on the South Jersey Sports Report. Coach, uh, a personal accomplishment for you. You earned career win number 100 earlier this season. Uh, I believe it came against Middle Township in uh, the 97-3 ESPN shootout over at Holy Spirit. So, And I know you had a nice moment with your team with some balloons and such after that game. Uh, obviously, it's more about the team and more about the goals for this team. But just for a moment there, how much fun was that and how much did you appreciate uh, sort of that moment and enjoying that moment with this group? Yeah, my, my wife surprised me. Uh, <laughs> I, I did, none, of the, none of the kids knew. None of my coaches knew. Uh, only really my wife knew. Uh, and, and she kind of blindsided me with that, but I get a lot of support from her uh, at, at home. Uh, she's a big sports uh, fanatic herself. Um, but it, it, watching the, the journey of the program, uh, you know, we lost 53 games in, a, in my first three years as, as coach, and seeing you know, the program develop over time has, has been very, very enjoyable. And that's a testament to the hard work and dedication of the kids and the commitment that they've had. Over time, we had a lot of really special kids uh, play, play for us over the last 10 years, uh, and it's the level of commitment has definitely increased over time, and they've learned something from one another every year progressively. Coach, before we let you go, you know, obviously some bigger games still to go, but in terms of the wins that you have under the belt so far this year, were there one and two, one or two that sort of stood out to you and said, hey, you know, that's maybe a toss-up game and, and we got it done. You know, I had a chance to see you guys at home against Atlantic City, and that was a back-and-forth game and, you know, a game that you guys were down big early and, and, and came back and found a way to win. You know, a game like that, does that sort of stick out in your mind at this point in terms of, wow, you know, this is a group that, that knows how to maybe close out that tough, close game? Uh, the Atlantic City game definitely stands out. It was a very difficult game to prepare for with having two transfers uh, coming in, not having uh, much uh, tape on them. Uh, and we, we came out kind of flat, and our, our point, point guard, Tanasia Ford, and our shooting guard, India Parker, had a couple uh, really big plays. I think we were down 12 at one point in the second quarter. Uh, and just being the environment, if you remember in the gym when it was tied going into the half after being down 12, uh, it was almost like we hit a, bu- a buzzer beater going in- into the half, the, the emotion. Um, it kind of showed the, the, showed the kids that uh, they're very resilient and uh, able to overcome a lot of the obstacles that are put in their, in their way. So that was definitely a game that stood out for us. All right, Coach, Head Coach Jason Kessler of the Millville Thunderbolts. Really appreciate the time. Again, Millville uh, really chugging toward that Cape Atlantic League playoff. We'll see where you guys get seated, but obviously it'll be a a home game, we all think. And uh, good luck to you in the Cape Atlantic League tournament. Good luck to you guys also in the state tournament, Coach. 
Uh, thank you very much. All right, Jason Kessler of Millville. Uh, 